People who are new to PTO-driven equipment often have not been properly trained in the safe and correct way to handle this piece of machinery. By following a few simple rules, Mill Creek PTO owners can safely connect and operate PTO-equipped spreaders. First, back your tractor up to the spreader hitch so the connecting holes line up. Then place the tractor in neutral, set the parking brake, and turn the tractor off. Drop the hitch pin through the holes on the hitch and the tongue, and connect the cotter pin on the underside of the hitch pin. Lower the jack stand so the tongue weight rests on the hitch. Rotate it up and out of the way, then secure it with the jack stand pin. Release the elastic band that secures the PTO shaft and push the shaft support down. Extend the PTO shaft toward the PTO drive shaft on the tractor and engage both ends so that the teeth fit together. You may have to rotate the drive shaft so that the teeth are aligned. If that is too hard to turn, go to the rear of the spreader and rock the beaters a bit until the teeth are ready to go together. Now push the locking button down and push the PTO shaft onto the tractor drive shaft until the notches are covered. Test the connection by pulling hard on the PTO shaft to make sure it is securely engaged. And that's all there is to it. The PTO is ready to go. When you are finished using the spreader, park it where you want to leave it, put the tractor in neutral, set the parking brake, and turn the tractor off. Then simply reverse these steps to disconnect the PTO. PTO equipment is designed to be safe to use as long as you follow instructions carefully. Don't be distracted or in a hurry. Remember, safety comes first. We hope you enjoy your new Bell Creek spreader.